let's take a look at this USB extender. First, we got the sender or transmitter. Okay, this plugs into the computer. You plug your CAT5 or CAT6 or CAT7 cable here. And we got our receiver. Okay, you plug your USB device into this and you power it up and you plug your cable here. Now let's power it up and see how it works. Here I got a USB extender that goes into the computer. So I'll plug in my sender here. All right. I got CAT5E cable here. Now we got the receiver. Okay. Now you're not seeing any activity, any LED. You're seeing one here. I got the power supply here. All right. So we'll connect the power. This is 110 volts. Connected here. All right. We've seen the LED. Let's try this webcam. See, and the camera works. I got a digital microscope. Let's try it and see if it works. Oh, okay. Yeah, it powers up. Okay. Now, if we remove the power, see, so you definitely need the power on the, your receiver. Okay. Digital microscope looks fine. And this cable is 80 feet long. It can go up to 164 feet. So this is just about half the length. So this is a USB extender. I'll give this like four and a half stars. Uh, four and three quarter stars. <laughs> what I don't like about it is that no matter the size of the device um, on the receiving end, it needs power. Even a little thing like a um, USB receiver for a wireless mouse, you need power for it. So you manage to get your USB 164 feet away. Now you have to find some way to bring power 164 feet away. Yeah. Okay. Some devices should have been able to work without the power. But other than that, it's perfect like a device to have. Love it.